Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. So this is a typical case, not, pathological not pathological situation. The cyst is, is always a pathological situation, but, but in this, in this case, case is an effluent, and more than 30 percent of the cases are so. And I so prostate yes. landing without any problem. You mustn't spend time for cure this cyst. Yes. Even by validation, you feel. Okay. Right over it. Okay. We had seen uh, metritis mm -hmm. at day 12, 13. Look now, you have a perfect uterine involution without any delay. Perfect involution of cotyledons. No liquid, no fluid inside to the uterus. Perfect. Okay, sorry, what about the ovary? The ovary are here. Left ovary, you can see C a small CL, a young CL. While we have a big follicle in uh, in the right, so it's an excellent cow. This cow is excellent. Probably between ten days. Yeah, between ten days will be excellent for pressing. Okay, I will push after ten days. Now we can do a confront between a normal cow and another cow in the same period. The last one was 13, this is 14. So you must realize that the condition of the uterus in this case uh, are normal. Second step, if we have uh, a cycling activity on the ovary. If I have an endometritis, but I have a normally cycling activity in uh, in the first two weeks is after calving, it's not really a, a big problem. I don't like doing fusion in the uterus before day 28. And normally, I reduce the flushing of the uterus um, to one three percent of the cases, no more. I like uh, to induce uh, uh, heat working with prostate landing if I have luteal tissue, of course. Look, it's very nice because it's different from the other. Here we have, you see the hyperechoic, we have a, an endometritis, first degree endometritis. It's not too much bad, it's not perfect, like while the, 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 the last one was perfect. This is not perfect, we have an endometritis, first degree endometritis, but it is a good cow. I want to recheck this animal between uh, 10 days for see if we have luteal tissue. If we have luteal tissue, the cow is again in endometritis. I start pressing without any problem. In this case, I wait. I don't like do any in this cow, in this case, because I have not luteal tissue. No, without, without any. So in this case, I wait. I don't like use prostaglandin in this case because uh, we haven't any luteal tissue. We are around day 14, 15. You have a big risk to delay the conception if you use prostaglandin in this case. 
If you have ergometrine, you can use ergometrine, but you must remember that not all the researchers um, agree the influence, positive influence of ergometrine, uh, like for prostaglandin. So if you believe, you use. If you don't believe, you don't use. But I know, I know this, I know this, uh, this research, but um, um, the report of this research uh, told that you haven't any um, uh, positive effect on the reproduction performance. So, it's a useful use to generate uh, a day 14, 15. Yes. Like, is a useful use uh, progesterone in the same period. I believe that it's most important to visit the animal, do a good diagnosis of metritis in the first week and then do a good diagnosis of endometritis with good sonography uh, after day 10. This is very important. Yes, if you, yes, if you have a CL, you can do everything. The problem is when you have not CL. Right over it. Three big follicles. Left over it. A lot of small follicles. How many days? 16. This is an interesting case because the cow, you, you can see a, a first degree endometritis, really is a good involution. Very excellent cow, we have only a very, very, very small endometritis. Yeah, you have a little bit deep fluid. This is good, good. Yes, dirty fluid inside. Uh, on the part where was the calving, but it's an excellent cow. I want to check this cow between 10 days if we have uh, a CL bracing.